What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Whiplash. We're here. Um, we got this new toy in today. It's called the Novation Dicer. Basically, what it is, it's like a mini controller, especially for techniques and uh, CDJs. This is the, the packaging right here. It has this nice little window where you can see actually what it comes with. Um, they have different settings. You have the red setting, which basically creates hot cues. You have the green setting, which does the, the loop roll. And here, they would show you like the other one, which is the orange setting, which basically is like the loop. It just kind of loops around. So, let's get right down to it. Let's do the unboxing. Alright, so on the back of the package, uh, we have key features, you know, stuff that it comes with how to mount it, things like that. Um, pop open the top. It does say uh, for official, for Ableton and Serato. And that's what it looks like. It comes in. There it is, boom. It's both pieces at the bottom. There's all the cables, all the stuff. Uh, these are the the players. In case you're wondering, yes, it comes with two. We'll get to that in a second. Um, instruction manual, I guess. Uh, registration for warranty. Uh, some just a little get start guide. Don't eat this stuff. And this right here, this is uh, basically this is the stuff that you use to mount it with. Um, it's like a little double-sided sticky tack. You would put it inside the Technique hole right here and use it to mount. Okay. Now we have the cables. It comes with two cables. Um, one is the USB to a looks like a weird version of micro USB. Um, and we have this right here, which basically links both. Um, some people are wondering if you need to use two USB cables um, to wire these up, but you don't. You use one USB cable. What you do it is by basically you would take this USB cable right here, right? Plug it up in there. See if you can see that. Plug it into that uh, weird micro-looking thing, and then this one would go, let's say, into your computer, and then this right here. It's like a headphone jack, just put it in, and it goes into the other one. Um, now we're actually going to hook it up over here to Serato to see how it actually works. Um, here, let's just plug it in just to see if it recognizes it. Let's see what we get. Boom, they light up. There you go. Okay. So, I'm assuming this one already has a hot cue. Yep, they work automatically. Let's drop the needle on the record and see how it works. Um, this one is for the hot cues. This little circly one is for the loop roll. It turns it green. You can see that it's green. Let's watch what happens. Loop roll. and it turns orange and you basically get a loop. So this is a 4B loop. Another feature where if you hold it down, like you can MIDI assign some stuff. Like let's say you put this, let's say you go over here into the computer real quick. Um, go to setup or actually you go to MIDI, right? And then you can like hit any one of these buttons, any button you want. Like I guess, let's say you want to use your, uh, get out of there. Let's go into our SP sampler, right? SP sampler. So let's hit MIDI. Let's say I want to trigger that. I right, click it down. I'd hold the button, 
and once you hold it, you hit the button you want, and you see the screen turn green. So basically, if I drop something in there, a sample of source, let's say, I don't know who this is. Well, that's not working. I'm in MIDI mode. Let's say this was a sample. Take it, drop it there. You'd hold down this button, and it would trigger the sample. It would trigger that sample. So you could use it as you know your trigger for your sampler, whatever MIDI assign you want to do. Right, we're gonna come back. We're gonna put them on the techniques, and we're gonna try them out, see how they actually work in a real setting. Here's the loop, or here's the high cue. Now, I want you to know that I'm beating this hard. I'm hitting this really, really, really hard. And it's it doesn't doesn't make the record jump or nothing. I guess now we could do some cool tricks and stuff like this. Like we could, uh. So yeah, it's cool. It only takes up one USB. Um, runs native with Serato plug and play. Now you do have to have the latest version of Serato. You have to have Serato, I think it's 2.1. One that's out right now, you have the latest version, plug and play, good to go. Makes a technique just like a CDJ with a 12 inch feel. Alright, check out my other videos on uh, the CDJ 1000s, and uh, I'm gonna do a follow up video with some tips and tricks on this. Alright, peace.